So who is responsible and why did this happen? Those are some of the questions state lawmakers are asking tonight. And soon, all the major players will be in Santa Fe to respond. Here's News 13's Jeff Todd. Tim, you see these kind of hearings in Washington all the time, but rarely do you see them at the Roundhouse. It's the worst natural gas shortage in decades as workers continued going door to door in 14 communities to restore service. Lawmakers are ready to ask questions. How did this happen? Why did it happen? If we don't have adequate gas reserves or a pipeline issue, I want to know what we can do in the future to make sure it doesn't happen again. First thing Monday morning, representatives from New Mexico Gas and the Public Regulation Commission will be in front of the House Energy and Natural Resources Committee answering tough questions on how the problem developed. This was a monumental storm that hit us. I mean, the, the worst weather in 40 years that hit New Mexico. I mean, uh, we saw it coming. We prepared for it in the amount of gas that we uh, purchased to supply our system to make sure we had more than enough. The gas company says the issue originated with its supplier, who lost electric power at compression stations in Texas, making it hard to get enough gas into New Mexico and parts of Arizona. There will be an, an effort to recap on all, all the events that happen, and we will analyze uh, how that happened with our suppliers and what went wrong and all the causes and effects. But right now, our focus is this, and people are still cold out there. It's something that I think really plays to the infrastructure of how we supply necessary utilities to people throughout New Mexico, and especially in rural New Mexico, which is where we're seeing them hit the most. Today, gas company executives said cost is not an issue as they try to get all 32,000 affected residents and businesses back online. The president of the company also promised a thorough investigation. We will look at every root cause that we can identify, and we will work with our suppliers and all the other stakeholders in this process to make sure that we can fix as many of the things that contributed to this outage as possible. The questions extend to the federal level as well. New Mexico Congressman Ben Ray Lujan is calling on the federal agency that oversees natural gas distribution to investigate. In a letter to that agency, Lujan asked the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to exercise its regulatory authority to address this crisis by conducting a thorough review of the incidents that occurred and by identifying any casual factors leading to these incidents. Tim, back to you. Thank you, Jeff.